Welcome to the About the Face podcast, sponsored by the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery through the Facial Plastic Surgery and Aesthetic Medicine Journal. Costal cartilage is often used in septorhinoplasty when there isn't enough septal cartilage for grafting. The two most commonly used options are autologous rib cartilage, which is harvested directly from the patient, and irradiated cadaveric homologous costal cartilage. Both are frequently used, but still carry risks of infection, warping, and resorption. Autologous costal cartilage assures optimal biocompatibility, but requires additional operative time for harvest. It also has donor site morbidity from rib harvest when compared to irradiated homologous costal cartilage. Our group at a single academic institution sought to compare outcomes between these two groups, specifically highlighting nuances of grafts used, antibiotic regimens, and specific findings with respect to outcomes and indications for revision. We performed a retrospective analysis of patients who underwent rhinoplasty with either autologous or cadaveric costal cartilage and collected demographic and surgical details in depth which were analyzed using Fisher's exact test, chi-squared test, and logistic regression. By looking at a total of 143 patients, our contemporary study confirmed prior studies' findings that both cartilage sources are safe, and we found no difference in the need for revision surgery or incidence of infection between the two groups. Not surprisingly, the operative length was longer for those who underwent autologous rib harvest, we performed an in-depth analysis of antibiotic use, intra- and post-operatively, and found that the rate of infection or revision was not impacted by antibiotic regimen. However, we did find that when cadaveric cartilage is used for a caudal septal extension graft, this more likely leads to revision. Of the revision cases we evaluated, the dorsal onlay graft was most likely to be the involved graft. In conclusion, both cartilage types are excellent grafting options in rhinoplasty, and our study offers a comprehensive evaluation of their use. Going forward, it'll be useful to evaluate fresh frozen cartilage alongside autologous integrated cartilage, as its use is increasing in many institutions worldwide. We'd like to thank the authors for presenting their work, and thank you for listening. Catch you on the next one.